Hey folks, this is Mark at OrionWatchUSA.com and this, my friends, are, is the whole family of the FFE06 family. You can see this in our diver section. It does come with a 200 meter case, screw down crown, screw case back, all the, um, uh, all the hands except for the second hand, the GMT are luminous, all the hour indexes I believe to have luminous markers on them. So uh, this is uh, in some ways a diver's watch. Uh, it does have a uh, bi-directional bezel. I'm gonna show you that just in a little sec, but I want you to see the whole family. This is the version in black, in blue, in white, and in a gray dial. Now, I wanna, I'm want i gonna go ahead and show each product uh, by itself, but the purpose of this video is to show the family of the GMT model. So, you can, as you can see from this entire family, you can probably choose the, your favorite color. And so uh, it does come, I, I just showed you in four different colors, so you go ahead and choose the same shade that you like, uh, the, the shade that you like. Uh, folks, this is a mechanical watch. All of these watches are mechanical, so you don't, you don't, you don't have to expect a quartz watch. This is fully mechanically based, and so uh, want to learn a little more, go on the product page and take, and take a look at what's a mechanical watch that explain the technology. All right, folks. I hope you are uh, uh, enjoying the uh, the full the full family uh, picture. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these watches. I'm going to take just only one of these watches. And I'm going to go ahead and explain it. Hey, folks. I'm back, and here is a wrist shot of this watch. Um, it's very hard to see what the watches are going to look like uh, on your wrist, but I hope this will give you a good idea of what it's going to look like. Uh, it's a very stunning watch. I think it has the right appeal for the American market, so I really think that you're going to enjoy this. But uh, I want to show you all the little features. So what I'm going to do first is show you how to take off the watch, and you'll notice that the Orient logo is on the, uh, on the buckle itself. It's a safety. All you got to do is raise the safety like this, press these two buttons on either side and to release the clasp. All you got to do is refold it and close the clasp after you're done. All right. So here's the profile of the case. As you can see here, it's absolutely beautiful. Now, that, like I said to you before, it is a 200 meter case. It has shoulders on both sides like this. And so you can see from the side of the band that is, it is solid in construction. They decide to go with a matte, untapered look for the band. And as you can see from the back of the watch, it's actually very sporty. And from the front of the watch with the band, you can see how the band works with the case as such. Now, the function of this movement is GMT. So let's go ahead and show you some of the, func uh, the functionality of this GMT. Let's first take a look at this bezel. You'll notice that there's nautical signs, north, south, east, and west as well as a 24-hour indicator uh, that's noted by the 1 through 24. Let's go ahead and use that for a second. Let's go ahead and place this 24 to, um, uh, to the top over here. Let's just say in this example that I'm in Los Angeles and it is noon time. So, uh, what, I'm tr what I'm trying to show at this point uh, is that GMT carries two time zones Now the red thing over here this is not a minute hand this is not a second hand this is an hour hand for another time zone so let's for example say that we are going to set this time for New York City now New York when it's uh, noon time in Los Angeles it is, it is 3 p.m. or 1500 hours military time so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set uh, one at uh, one time I'm going to set the uh, the bezel so that it's based on New York time. You'll notice that the uh, that the hour indices are twice as far apart as the 24 hours because every every 30 minutes based based on the hour hand in the time is one unit uh, is one uh, is around one distance for an hour on the GMT hand. Let me explain. So as I progress forward after one hour, you'll notice at one o'clock, I'm right here, and you'll see that the GMT hand is halfway. So it's actually on 18, 19, which means when I go to 20,
So as we progress forward, you can see how the hands keep on coming together and indeed the GMT works.